So back in 2006 or 2005, I wrote an article about shaving, where I recommended that you shave with a safety razor like this one right here. And I've been following up on my own advice, and I've been shaving with one of these ever since then, and I love it. So I just want to do a quick demo of how to shave with one of these and hope that it will help somebody out there or answer a few questions that people might have about how to shave with safety razors. So one of the things that I want to do first is uh, change the blade here. Well, you know, a complaint that people have about safety razors is that they're not safe uh, because, oh, this might cut you. Actually, this is less likely to cut you uh, and less likely to irritate you than, um, you know, one of those multi-blade razors or even an electric razor, depending on how you use this, because shaving is an art. And uh, if you don't learn how to do it properly, then yes, you will irritate yourself, you will cut yourself, you'll get shaves that will make you sorry you were, uh, you were born a man, <laughs> sometimes. So, here, let's um, take a blade out of the package. This is a Gillette stainless steel blade. Get whatever, get whatever blade you want to get, you know. Um, the important thing is to find a blade that works well with your face because blades are made uh, at different uh, thicknesses, different flexibilities, different uh, cut points as well. The, the angle of the cut is different on each blade, on each brand rather, and model of blade. And uh, you know, some blades may not work well with uh, some faces. So find a blade that works for you. Uh, and that's trial and error really. That's the only way that works. Okay, so I've got the blade right here. I've got the razor right here. I'm gonna stick it inside, and it's very simple. You just rotate it, and it tightens. And there we go. So what I'm doing is I'm moistening these, and I put them in uh, warm water here in the sink because it's important that uh, the brush be uh, moist and ready, and of course this to be heated before you start shaving with it because if you start shaving cold, it may cut you. So it's important for it to be warm. Right. So now it comes time to apply the um, <laughs> this time the the shaving uh, cream to the face. I'm actually using a uh, shaving mug and shaving soap, but since I'm not uh, I'm traveling right now and I don't I didn't carry the mug with me. I didn't want to break it. I'm uh, using this it's a shaving gel. So. Um, the important thing to remember about the gel is that it will dry on your face much faster than soap will and um, once it dries it loses, somehow it loses its lubricating properties and so you'll have to keep reapplying it or you'll have to moisten your face um, uh, all the time. So here let me just apply this. I'm not a uh, particularly good at applying uh, shaving lotion, so don't go expecting me to apply it like you see in the movies, because it ain't going to work with me. So. The important thing to do with a safety razor, or with uh, any razor for that matter, is not to go over the same area too many times because you will irritate the skin. So what I do is I do a first pass once I apply the shaving lotion, and um, and then I actually reapply the shaving lotion once more and do a second pass where I get the face nice and uh, smooth. So there we go. And if the blade is sharp, even though you may have long stubble like I do right now, this is actually a week's growth, I waited a bit too long to shave, um, it will not pull on the hair, it will not hurt you. So The important thing is to let the weight of the razor do the cutting, not to pull on it with your muscles because that solves nothing. It only cuts you or irritates you. So just let the, the razor do its business. And I know it looks untidy at the moment because their hair is left. Don't worry about it, this is just the first pass to get most of the stubble out of the way. So you can focus on the nice 
getting that nice smooth look afterward. So don't worry. Now, some people think that shaving with a safety razor takes too long. It takes me about five to ten minutes to shave. It takes me longer to brush my teeth sometimes. <laughs> And floss them actually, flossing takes a while. I have to be extra careful because this is a new blade, and with a new blade, if you're not careful, you will cut yourself because it is very sharp, it's new. You have to break it in, but it breaks in after a shave. So You'll notice I am making some rather long passes. It's advisable if you're just starting out with any sort of razor to do short passes because it minimizes the possibility of cutting yourself like I just did here. Oh, but oh well. You know, you can't get everything perfect. Now it's time to reapply this. Because by now it actually has dried, and if I don't reapply it, well, for one thing I've run out of it, but for another, if I was spending too much time on the neck and then just came to the face right now, this is so dry already that uh, the razor wouldn't glide on it and I would actually cut myself or irritate myself. So, reapply the lotion. So, I just put a dab of it on there. I probably put too much, but don't worry about it. Just shave. So I've reapplied the lotion, time for the second pass. Again, don't press the razor to the face. Let the razor do the cutting with its own weight. Just guide it across the face, it's enough. And the important thing with razors, unless you're using one of those blades, old-fashioned blades, is to cut with the grain. So you're going to cut in the same direction your hair grows, not against it. That's really important. If you cut against it, you may cause ingrown hairs and you will most definitely irritate your face. Chin always has a lot of hair. So I think that I'll spend extra time on it. I'm pretty much done now, just time to rinse. So I'm done. It took about less than 10 minutes to shave. So, uh, a word about aftershave lotions I prefer to use the ones that are thick, not the ones that have a lot of alcohol in them. And now, uh, something which is near and dear to my heart. This is what I throw away after I shave. 
and I don't throw this after every shave. I throw this after about five or six shaves. This is all the waste I get. A bit of paper and a bit of steel, which is completely recyclable. Um, this is opposed to what you throw away when you're using disposable cartridges, which is plastic and steel together, which is really hard to recycle because you got to separate the metal. So it, it just ends up in a landfill somewhere, um, polluting the ground uh, and uh, wasting resources. So this is good for the planet. Use a safety razor.